Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Knifeware, Calgary's premium Japanese knife shop. President and knife enthusiast Kevin Kent sat down with me and had a little chat about what makes a good knife, how to take care of your knives, and a little bit about the shop itself. For Hot Pan Magazine, I'm Nick Reed. What a good knife is. You know, like wow, that's, the great thing is, is everybody's got a different idea of what a great knife is. But I think we can all agree that a great knife is a knife that stays sharp a long time and is very sharp. Yeah. Right? Because if it's very sharp, now I know it sounds counterintuitive, but a very sharp knife is safer. And this is why. If I take a very sharp knife and cut something, the knife is just going to cut it with ease and it's going to go exactly where I tell the knife to go. When the knife is dull, I have to put more pressure on it and that's when mistakes can happen, right? And it can bounce out and just chop your finger off. And since you're already putting all that pressure on, it's gonna be very bad when it hits your finger. Um, so, I think a knife should be hard steel so it's gonna stay sharp a long time. It's going to be capable of, of extreme sharpness and it's gonna be resharpenable, right? You have to be able to maintain it. And I think that's what makes a good knife. Also, you have to take in consideration what you're using the knife for, right? Because if I'm using a knife to slice a turkey, it's different than the knife I need to cut an onion. I can use the same knife for all of them. If you have a chef's knife, you can do every job with a chef's knife, just like I can do every job with my Toyota Matrix. But when I want to go really fast with the Matrix, it's not a race car. <laughs> and when I want to carry, you know, a bunch of boxes and a ladder, it also doesn't work. It can, but it's not great. So sometimes you need a four by four, sometimes you need a truck, sometimes you need a bus, you know? And, and, that, and that's what I think about the knives too. Like, I could do everything with one chef's knife, but it's not the perfect solution for everything. With the knives we sell, we always tell people the first resharpening is free. So we'll teach you how to use a honing rod so you can help keep your knife sharp longer. Think about the honing rod like combing your hair. Yeah. You need to do it often, but it works for a long time, but eventually you need a haircut, yeah. right? And that's when you need to either bring the knives to us and we do, with the knives we sell, we do the first sharpening for free, um, or we charge between six and $15, depending on the type of steel, the size, whatever. Most knives are 10 bucks. Uh, so we can, we can sharpen them for you. Uh, we also teach classes about how to sharpen. We also um, sell all the gear so you can take the class, get the gear, go home and, and sharpen your knives yourself. Um, uh, you know, a really sharp knife is going to make your food taste better. Yeah. And I know people don't agree with me or, or don't know how that works, but it's, it's really easy to test at home. Get a, next time you have a steak, cook a steak and then cut it with your bread knife and eat it. Then cut a slice with your current steak knife and eat it. And then cut, a cut, cut slices with a very sharp knife. And what you'll find is the bread knife and the serrated steak knife are gonna rip the steak apart. And what's gonna happen is all the juices kinda leak out of that slice. And you're gonna end up with a piece that's a little bit, feels like it's already been chewed a bit. And it won't be as juicy. But the one cut with a really sharp knife is gonna have um, a better texture and it's gonna be juicier. And it's, I know it's crazy, but it's just, it's just true. The other thing too is, think about it this way, think about uh, slicing tomatoes. So you got your beautiful tomatoes at the farmer's market, or maybe you grew them because it's Calgary, you can almost grow a tomato here. When you slice the tomato, if you slice it with a serrated knife, you'll see on each slice the skin's all ripped apart, and you'll see there's a ton of tomato juice on your cutting board. If you slice it with a really sharp knife, the slices are all good, and there's not as much juice on the cutting board because the food keeps its juice inside because it's cut rather than ripped apart with a knife. But everybody that comes in is allowed to use, we have sample knives of every line we sell. So uh, basically I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't buy uh, a pair of shoes without trying it on. And I, and I love the idea of testing a knife before you buy it. So we're trying to make shops that are fun. We want to make shops that customers can come into, have a good time, get really unique products that'll last for a lifetime, and and give them the service they deserve, right? So have t staff that are totally intelligent and fun yeah. and can help guide you to the right thing, right? We could, we could hire salesmen to push you into really expensive knives and like, but God, I don't want to do that. And you're not going to set up a business forever that way. Yeah. You'll, you'll make some quick money probably, but everybody will see through it eventually and they'll stop coming, 
right? Whereas I just want to make uh, these shops to last for 20, 2500 years. Yeah. I don't know, like forever. Totally. Because it makes sense that way. So we just treat the staff well, we do profit sharing. We do profit sharing cool. and uh, above and beyond bonus. We actually just closed all the shops recently. Closed the, all the shops and flew everybody to Edmonton to watch our uh, documentary film. Springhammer. Cool. Yes, we closed all shops for a couple of days. Flew everybody to Edmonton, watched the film there at the film festival. Had a staff, or have a, had a customer party after, and then a really late staff party <laughs> with lots of champagne and booze. <laughs> and then we flew everybody, else, put everybody in a nice hotel and flew them home the next day. Sweet. We're, uh, it's important to take care of the people that take care of you though, right? It's super important um, because I have to work with everybody yeah. all the time. And I want to have a good time when I come to work. Honestly, I see these guys. I see a lot of them more than I see my wife. <laughs> my kids because that's what a job is yeah. right you go to a job for a long time and it's a big chunk of your day and it's a big chunk of your life and why should you not enjoy it ladies and gentlemen get yourself down to knifeware intelligent staff great ownership and they know what it takes to get you cutting today for hot pan mag i'm nick